everyone my name is Sujay Vishwakarma and today I am going to do a video on how to use Java to use Lucent library for text search in files so first of all I would like to give you some introduction about what is Lucent and how it is used in Java so Lucent is a fully Java library that is prepared by Apache so this is an open source library so uh, we can import it using APIs into our programs so some features of uh, Lucent are it is uh, uh, very fast which covers around 150 gigabytes of uh, storage in an hour and it requires very really small amount of RAM around 1 MB and also it is a full feature text search engine library so we are going to use it uh, in our java code so uh, there are some prerequisites to run this code so i will just show you the prerequisites so we require eclipse and lucent 3.6.0 jar file which would be required to run the java code and another important thing is data files which we would use to run the java code so when i switch to the code there are you can see first we have created a uh, first we have created a java uh, project in eclipse java project in eclipse and inside that if, if you can see i'll show you the j uh, we have imported some jar files uh, from the uh, build path options so the jar file is lucent core 3.6.2 so we'll be using that and uh, inside the project i have created a package named form.firstapp.lucent inside which i have five java files so i'll try to explain all of them in a quick quick time so first is the recent constant java, java file so this file consists of four five four variables that i have defined which consent uh, which are just string and int variables that we are going to use in other java files so the next file we will see is the text file uh, filter so the purpose of this java file is to change uh, uh, get the file names of all the uh, files that are included in the data folder so the data folder is the folder in which we have kept our all the text files that we need to search on so uh, this is the java code that we are going to use to um, extract the name of the files that we are searching so the next code that we'll look at is recent tester so it consists of various uh, functions and uh, variables so i'll just quickly explain them so this is the directory where we have we will going we are going to store the indexes of the file and this is the directory where we are going to store the data of the file so data is uh, I, I can show you the data so data is uh, just a list of 10 files which can consist the details of students uh, in the manner like the first uh, they are common separated so the first one is in uh, the id of the student the second is the name and then some other attributes and the last one is the date of birth of the student so there are like 10 entries in the fi uh, in the files so we are going to search uh, in these files using the uh, java code so in this uh, code we have uh, uh, defined uh, various uh, methods and some loops so we can read the files and just uh, search in them so the next one uh, is the indexer or java the in purpose of indexer class is to create um, uh, is to create indexes of the data files that are available with us so it's a long code so it would take some time to explain so i'm just uh, giving a brief introduction what it does so we are create, uh, using the uh, various um, built-in functions available in the um, library to create indexes of the data file and uh, at the last if i can show you we have created an array of the file which consists of the names of the files uh, so so they are sorted on uh, the basis of these five conditions the they are not directly they are not hidden they exist can be read and can are a text file so this is how we do the index indexing of the data files that we are available to us now searcher is a final uh, java class that we are created to search uh, a 
text in the file so the searcher uh, file the searcher class is used to search a text in the file so when we run this program we can see that we get output like which reads all the files like from record 7 to record 9 that are in the random sequence and we get 10 files uh, indexed and the, it took only 180 milliseconds so like reading 10 files took only 180 milliseconds that's very fast so now next thing that we get is we have one document found that we need to find so that was record 4 because record 4 consists of the name that we were searching for Mohan so Mohan was in record 4 as you can see so this was quite fast so it took only a few second few milliseconds for the program to search the file so this is how we use lucent so lucent search to search a text in the file thank you very much